Welcome to Labnist.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to register an ICE node in a distributed design using a self-signed certificate. So this method may work really well if you only have only a few nodes to work with and you need to bring them up quickly without using a public key infrastructure. But with a large number of nodes, the amount of work may increase because the node needs to have all the other node certificate installed. Also, the major downside with this method is that the these self-signed certificate may not be trusted by your endpoints or users. So in which case you will be better off uh, with the certificate signed by the trusted root CA, which means that you would need a PKI, which we'll look at in a separate video. So with our lab set up here, we already have a first uh, ICE node, LMISE1, set up for the admin and monitoring node, or personas. Now we're gonna register a second uh, ICE server, as a policy service node and using a self-signed cert. Okay, so with that, before we start, we need to make sure that all the I servers um, are resolvable by DNS. So let me kill that ping. Okay, so we're gonna do NS lookup, or actually let's do a ping. LM is one. Okay, so it's pingable uh, by name, so it's resolvable, and then we can do uh, ice two. Okay, so both of those nodes are pingable and resolvable. Next, we need to make sure that the two nodes uh, they're running the exact same code. So here we have the first uh, ISE server at a dot. 102 okay and the way to check the version you go to help and about here it's running 111268 and we'll look at the second node at dot 103 it's also running 111268 okay now just to show you that we have already turned the first node into a primary admin and monitoring. See right here row is primary and it only has two checkbox and not the policy service. So now without doing anything let's we can try to go ahead and register the second node. Okay so here you cl click register register ice node and we'll give it an IP 172.16.32.103 with an admin password and now it's, uh, it's warning you that the certificate configuration or it cannot authenticate the second node using the certificate okay so without anything set up you are not able to register an additional node. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go under certificate. We stay on the first node here. And by default, there's a self-signed certificate right here. You can see, let me expand that a little bit. Issue to, issue by, it's the same name. Okay, so first we're going to click on that and go export. So basically we're going to try to make the two nodes to trust, trust each other by importing each other's certificate, our self-signed certificate. So here we're going to do export certificate only. So click export. Let's save it on the desktop and we'll call it lmisc one self cert And it's a PM file. Save. Now we go to the second node and do the exact same thing under uh, system certificates. Check add or export rather. Export certificate only. Save. And we'll call it LMIS2 self cert. Okay, now that we have both self-signed cert 
saved on our desktop, we can go ahead and import. So start with the the primary node here under the certificate store. So we're going to tell the ISC one to trust ISC two. So we do import browse. And here, ISC2 self cert friendly name. You can just set LM ISC2. We can just call it the same thing self cert. Okay, and if you want to use this particular cert for uh, client authentication, right here, you can do so by checking the box. But since it's a self signed cert, it's kind of a moot point doing that because it's probably not going to be the one that's issuing. The cert to the client, so we don't really need to do that. Save, and then we're going to import the IC1 certificate to IC2. Browse, and LM IC1. Self cert. Save. Okay, now on the admin node, we go back to the deployment. Since we're going to be adding the second node as a policy service node, it's a good idea to go ahead and create a node group. And this is especially important if you have multiple uh, policy nodes located in the same uh, subnet or site. It's basically going to exchange some state uh, data. So node group name, you can call it LM group 1. Skip description, and we need to give it a multicast IP. So let's just do 239111. Submit. It's created successfully. Now let's go ahead and try to register a, a second node one more time. Okay, so let's do 216.32.103, admin, password, okay. Now we no longer gets the warning and it, allow, it uh, asks you to specify what kind of personas you want to assign to the second node. So here we would uncheck administration and monitoring and just leave the policy service enable and right here we need to choose our node group which is the one that we created earlier, LM group 1. Okay so here we save Okay, now it comes back and said the node was registered successfully and the synchronization will begin. And if you look at the status right now, it said out of sync and you can see sync status is sync in progress. So we're just going to need to give it a couple more minutes. And let me pause the video while it's doing that. I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like we are now done. As we can lock back into the ISC2, and you can see here the menus available to you is much less. Now this has registered to the primary node. All you can change is the NTP server, uh, and then any certificate relating uh, related configuration. And this is because the whole configuration should be uh, carried out on the primary admin node only. Okay, so now we have the policy service node uh, successfully registered and it can now be used for authentication. All right, so that wraps up our video on the node registration using a self-signed certificate. Thank you for watching labnits.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.